to play at the season finale. That's going to be super important. Lucky to set up a Molotov that's landing behind the silos in there. And they're going to be busting out of the squeak door. Glock's coming through down into the vent. Some of them get stopped. A lot of them get stopped, but they do answer back. Megis is there with the Glock. He did it on Vertigo, and he's doing it again. Taking down Grim. Fallen now in a one versus three. That is a real turnaround for Megis. P2000 as well. God forbid. Fallen, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Frowny face. Frowny face, similar. Not happy. Not appreciative of this at all. And Fallen has the kit as well. A kit, a smoke. What can he hope to do here, though? He's got such a long way to get to that bomb, let alone a defuse. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's just It's not going to happen. He's just going to hold on to the gear for the next round. Fair play. Uh, to be fair, though, actually, was it Exist? The other day who made a good point in terms of uh, economically is it worthwhile to save the kit because if the bomb blows up with the t's like this they get more money than outweighs you i don't get it <laughs> imagine that happened in the middle of the round he's proven he can handle it it's no problem at all fallen's got a scout stewie's got a scout we've got an mp9 they're pretty well equipped for this round after all trying for the hedge and that looked like it was close Ball and jumping back around the corner, but they know that one of the scouts is in play. The other one is over by the ramp, and the wall of smokes has been set up. So, so far, they're not getting tagged through. Lucky takes a little bit of damage, but it's probably fine. And they're pretty deep in here. Elise playing an off-angle that Bobski looks to be checking in a big way. Wow. Bobski just savoring that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not looking away on that one. Pretty sure he's dead, Bobski. Don't worry. You got him. If I'm, the, if I'm Elise in that position... If I just get close peak, like really quick, they just go you know, right around the corner and shoot me down. I'm like, all right, fair enough. When people crawl in on me, I feel it's so much more offensive. I hate it when that happens. I'm like, they're so slow, but you still can't really, like, it's like, they still have an advantage in some way. It's really annoying. Mm -hmm. Four versus four now. It actually looked like there was some team damage in that, but I'm not quite sure. Fallen, he's ready for more. The bomb is down, and now a second tag is in play. He actually does Get tag up the three. They are so low, and that means the Deagle is incredibly lethal right now. Naf is the like one that has it. Not like this. And Stu gives up the angle right as Dupree goes into heaven. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Fine. That happens. Grim sneaking through the MP9. He's going to be going down. Naf getting caught in a really awkward position, but he still gets the body shot. Look at the assist. Double on Fallen. Ten seconds. Yep. And they're going to have to go and pick up that bomb and just put it down right away, which they are trying to do. Stewie, he's not going to be able to shut down the bomb plant. Dupree in there to try and help him out a little bit. Some damage coming through. The scout well, actually connecting at the moment. And they are both fairly low on health now on that CT side. Right now, they only know where one of them is, but the pre is up on the rafters, ready and waiting in case anything happens. Yeah, it's a great position. He almost can catch the shot. Naf is close by as well. He's walking in. He's going to find a free kill on one. And Megas is down there with the help as well. It's going to have to be a real quick headshot. On planted. You're thinking that is it. There's going to be a way for Liquid to win this one, but... I mean, they've done a tremendous amount of damage to Astralis' economy. Astralis have to spend everything now to get equipped in this round. And so Liquid should be feeling good about themselves here. It didn't go their way, but they've got a real good opportunity here to put Astralis under pressure right out the gates at the beginning of this half. Dead. <laughs> Just slipping past under the Don't mind cover that. of smoke. Fair enough. No one from Liquid is really responding to the fact that someone could have made it down. They don't know, but normally if you... If you don't know, you have to assume that someone probably did make it down there. MP5 on Bubski. Rare sighting. Pew pew. He's a fan. I like it. Oh, well, now they do only have pistols, so I guess that's also maybe why Liquid are not going for any crazy rotations, because it, it's all ready. You have to gamble a little bit, right? They would have loved a, a three man fight outside. They didn't get it, so maybe they're just not that interested. All right, some damage. He's no idea. He's just not sure. That's annoying. Dupree will take down Grim. Lucky playing around with them over at the ramp room, but they should be fine in this round here. I think Astralis is just going to recover and go into the A-bomb site and get the bomb down. Do we get an in? Oh, there it is. This is so... Yeah, Lucky's freaking out now. Was there more people? What are these rounds? 15 seconds, bomb just now. Oh, nope, never mind. 
Now, if his mouse stopped working here, so he couldn't plant the bomb at all. See? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's a chance. <laughs> There's a chance. Anything could happen. I don't know if you know this, but non-wireless mouse can also break. I'm just saying. Yeah, but no. Not uh... Ooh, There you go, Naf. Was that like a fourth or fifth shot, headshot just spamming at range? Unbelievable. Just really trying to do the damage. Just to make it a bit more expensive. Liquid, know that they're going to be able to buy in the next round, so... Hard agree. Oh, here we go, though. Quick acceleration. And they managed to get out in time. Yes, Lucky leads the way. Grim, though, he's going to get one kill. They need a lot more leash coming through the smoke, but he's going to get shut down. So many T's on the other side. They just had everything covered. Molotov to push Naf even further back in. I don't know. Two versus three. Unless they find a very quick kill here, they, sh they should think about these guns because... They do need them on the CT side, and they got to be careful. Nice shot from Fallen to bring down Sip, and the bomb gets delayed, and now they can definitely go for it. Fallen runs onto the bomb side. They nearly line up, but it's not enough. It's like the kind of vibe I was getting there watching Fallen just go all out with the AWP close quarters on the bomb site. It is so cool, isn't it? It's one of the things that just makes it a real joy to watch him play. Yeah, very cool now. to see. Strong round for him, and must win round for Liquid. Okay, we saw a lot of this yesterday. I mean, obviously the main strategy here, getting the smoke wall up outside. Different variation this time. Yeah, but this is all just a, a bit of a fake. Again, we're gonna have a couple of Molotovs, I'm assuming on hut as well. And they're gonna try and go quick. And it makes sense given the weaponry that they, they wanna try and explode onto this. So, give it a little bit of time for Liquid to feel nervous about outside, and they're gonna try and come through the smoke. This time, Grim is a little bit more prepared. Double kill for him. Fallen will take down Magus. This has already been shut down. You really need the first part of that push coming through the, the squeak door to have some success. You need at least for that to trade or we will stay alive. And they just waiting for that play. That makes me think that's, a, that's some homework paying off for Liquid. Yeah, good call not to rotate too, too many people away from that. Okay. Down into the vent, let's say. Well, I mean, that's what the, um, they were saying. I can't remember if it was Maui or Maniac. But, uh, you know, just what Adren brings to the table in terms of coaching, right? That he's very much a, uh, a bookworm. Yeah. Likes to get into the demos, likes to try and figure out what the strategies are going to be. And uh, that, may be, that may be working out for him here. One of those rounds where it worked out. Nice. Quick play here coming in, though. This is Nico around from Astralis. They're pouring it on. Yeah, he got caught in a weird position, even against the Glocks. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it should still be fine. I don't think they'll actually be in any trouble here. The, the worst that could happen is letting go of the bomb plant, in my opinion. Low on health, everyone, more or less, on the Astralis side. Although, lucky getting a kill on this. This is kind of sloppy. There's no, yes, there's absolutely no reason for this. Now, bomb. Oh, that grenade! Bovsky, he can't escape. He gave his life for the course. Fair play. But now they have a Galil and an M4 out in the open. Stewie does spot it out, but he does make it back around. So does Lucky Dupree. On the upper He's side. on a long flank. If this goes long enough, if they're slow to defuse, they might have a very hard time reading this. Molotov to force him to the other side. No one defusing just yet, and that could be a problem. They so want to find Dupree. They know one of them is, and he's right there taking the kill, and that's going to be Lucky to drop it up. We've got grenades. We've got everything. Elish. Lost in the smoke, potentially. Can he find his way out? He's thinking about it. It looks like they don't really think about the fact that he's here. I mean, this could be pretty devastating. They've walked past him. So he's, uh, I don't know, not finding a target. But this could still play out. Oh, this is so weird. It really is. Yeah, tune in next season and we'll find out where Elish actually goes. Nice. Knife, 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 knife. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Oh, he's going to find... Oh, no! I was waiting for that. I hear everybody just shouting no in the green room right now. The greed, man. Greed isn't good. Oh, no. Greed now playing with the team again. Really makes you wonder, is it the team deciding to bench him or if he's benching himself or what's going on there? Because he always just seems so happy right now playing right now. Ah, that's... Hmm. Questions. Makes you wonder. Yeah, maybe he can change his mind. I don't know. Who knows? We'll have to find out. Going into the eighth round, we've got some money back on Liquid. Elise just going to be immediately drop Magus with a very important entry, Frank. That compromises the entire bomb site. Grim fighting for his life back there, but he's going to go down eventually. And this round is, should be over. I'm hesitant now because I was so horribly wrong earlier, but 
Magus almost finding the double kill leave. Naf on six health. And they know. And he is he's kind of expecting them to come. Yeah, that's that's the hunt has been called for. What? Oh, God. Okay. Kind. But um pistols nonetheless. B2K. That man it just sounds so weird now. Who uses that pistol? <laughs> Why? It does sound like a plastic gun. It it just doesn't sound right. You know, like when you're when you're a kid, you had those, those like uh, the the pistols, but they shot like the um, firecracker paper. Yes. Pat, 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 pat. That's what it sounds Classic. like. It does. Could sound a little bit like the popcorns about to be ready in the microwave. Mm. Could also confuse people. Like I didn't even remember putting on popcorn. <laughs> Might have to. Might have to go chank from the middle of the game, you know? That is the, the true elite snack. Popcorn. Popcorn. Popcorn's the way, dude. Yeah, but it it just it can only be like those, the ones with salt on. Yeah. I don't understand all the other flavorings. That's, I never understand. You never, you never get in on like the caramel popcorn and all that? No. Oh, dude. That's why. It's so good. You have to stop. But you see, that defeats the purpose. You can't put caramel on the popcorn or the sugar or any of that stuff. It's, the whole point of popcorn is that it's the perfect snack if you're dieting. Yeah. That's the whole point, right? Just a little bit of salt, and you're good to go. That's what I'm saying. Oh. You trick your brain, trick your body into thinking you're eating something, when in fact, just... You're not. Most of not. Oh, wait. Could have been. They're very low on health. Grim has... That's nice. Managed to find an AWP and run away with it. Just get out of here. Well, it is going to be 7-2 to two in favor of Astralis. And at the moment, you have to say the way that they got beat up on Vertigo, it must feel like some some sweet revenge that they're dishing out here on this map. Hope that they do uh, put it together. Dust 2 would be the final of the siding map. That could be fun. And especially as an opera, you're just going to spend your, li your life blinded most of the time. You're just trying to find a way to get that ever so slight window to hit a shot between the flashes. That's the name of Lucky's game right now. He just has to figure that out. And Nice attempt by Fall on there. That was close. It really looked like that connected, didn't it? Scary stuff. Dupree, not really interested in re-peaking that necessarily. It's really interesting. It takes time. I'm going to be very curious. Like, the, the guy that I think of right here, you know, in terms of, like, developing into a, a first-rate opera is uh, Mihu. Or not Mihu. Mantu. <laughs> Mantu, yeah. But yeah, Mantu, you know, where remember at the beginning we we're like, oh, you know, he's really getting blinded a lot, he's having a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. Now he's shaping up to be a fantastic op. But that didn't happen overnight. That takes time. Yeah. It can definitely be a process, there's no doubt. Seven to two. A minute on the clock. Magus is snuck through. If he can get into this position, it's gonna be so valuable. He catches fall and couldn't see a thing at all. Magus again on nuke. He has been so good on this map. And you're starting to see a little bit of why that is. Elige, he's out hunting for Magus, but there's a lot more people out here. Dupree is one of them, but even if not that, there would have been three other players there. And look at how that is trading. This is the benefit of having this many players on one position. You can just keep doing that over and over again. Rafters, like we said earlier, not a good position to be in if that main position is compromised. Grim, wow. going to be going down. He did leave Sip on two health. If he got that how? kill, that might have actually made it a very winnable round. Yeah, how does he? How does Sip survive? There was only his head. Like, and he got hit twice. How does he survive on two health? Thick skull. What's going on there? He's been taking his vitamins. <laughs> uh, well, that, yeah, that leaves Naf in an impossible situation. Bomb planted up above him. Not a whole lot you can hope to do here. Um, Anders, this is weird. Now we're going to get Astralis in the lead, 8-2. to two. We're going to flashbacks to Vertigo here. Yeah, they, uh, they're they tr trying to see if they can reverse it. What was it, 11-4 on Vertigo in the first half? So they, mm -hmm. they want to try and see if they can do that right back. We're not quite at that level yet, but it is pretty impressive. On the other side, on Liquid, Elise has got two kills. The rest of them are doing kind of okay. So, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that they're really getting necessarily swept off the board here. But there is a problem for Liquid, which is that Astralis Economy is now actually really starting to build back up. Oh, At least yes. we get that. Max 7 and Nuke. Name a better pair. I'll wait. Yeah. I mean, Fallen, Aggro, Yard, and Stu's going to push Ramp. Whoa, big whiff from Fallen, though. Yeah, look, like that's the kind of shot that he would hit every single time. Inside of the smoke, hiding, Nap. Kind of thinking about it. Got to be careful you don't make any noise here. Yeah, Bob, you heard that. Yep, he's doing a little bit of a double take. Naf is going to find Dupree and a headshot on Magus as well. They try to come through. He's finally going to be found, so at least it's a three on three. 
But this is where Astralis really need to keep cool and not get caught off any longer. Bubski's going to be going down. Ooh. Instant dinker for that MP9. We haven't even seen the Max 7 yet. Lucky is sure that someone's going to show up eventually out here. The clock is working against him, so doesn't have all day. A little bit of a jump and some noise. Does he know? Liege. Timing is absolutely everything in this one. If he gets spotted out here, Lucky, that's going to... Maybe they can work together to do, to do something. Oh. <laughs> wow. The leech can't catch up. Right on his face. He's going to shoot the AWP and then pick up the AK. That could be interesting. I mean, if they think it's an AWP that he's running around with, they could try and play it differently. Might be a little bit surprised. That Sip is walking up behind them. And he's going to find a free kill taking down Stewie. Some great communication here between the two remaining players of Astralis. And Grim is going to be found. It will be Astralis. Team seem to struggle. Two rounds for Liquid so far this half. I mean, we may just get that repeat. Astralis, you know, just utterly dominating on T side on Nuke. Nice. He's done there from Fallen, though. Doesn't miss this time. And Elise is pushed up all the way to the silo. And even if he doesn't get any action over here, he, they can rotate around this. They can stack the A-bomb side and ramp if they want to. They're in such a good position. He's going to start to fall back a little bit into Mini. Try and help out. But yeah, they feel very confident in... in at least knowing that outside is incredibly well covered at the moment. Nav doesn't really have to defend this position. He can get a kill and fall back. Sticking around doesn't really do anything for him. Oh, but they're running really deep in here. Now he might not be able to fall back any longer. And he's going to be found by Sip. I don't know. I feel like he stuck around a little bit too long then. Elise is trying to get down here to help out. But um, a lot of people on the other side. And now he's getting smoked off. Did take down Bubski before mm. anything else happened. 45 seconds on the clock. Not quite guessing the angle there. And the bomb is at the very least going to be planted here. Slip and charge yet. There's still a Molotov unlucky, so let's just see where he positioned himself. He's going to get that shot on Grim. That's nicely done. And yeah, the Molotov. That's actually huge. If he can block that off, he can stay up in the window room. He's going to be pushing down with a Tech 9. That's really smart. They weren't expecting that because the Molotov had gone down. They're trying to see if he can hit that wild flick on someone. But it's a 2 on 2. And no one's defusing yet. They tap it just to see if they can push someone into a little bit of a fight. But actually baited out, falling on the other side. That Tech 9 is doing a lot of work here. Elige, he still goes down, but Magus gets there with the spray. He gets one, and he can't connect, but it doesn't matter. There is no time. A tenth round on the board now for Astralis. And Liquid again, just falling down. Yeah. But uh, man, what a play. A big round from Elige, though. Doubled his uh, kill count in that one round. Got three kills, brings him up to six. But, uh, man, Astralis are on fire. They're in double digits. And it's just Liquid getting battered in this first half, Anders. And some of these positions, they look so favored. And it really looks like they have every advantage. And then it just gets stolen away. Elige, he can smoke that off. Ooh, does he, does he want to risk it? Lucky is so ready. Oh, no! <laughs> How is that possible? Kind of, uh, kind of a recall to Saibu over at ramp yesterday on Nuke, where Lucky also looked like maybe he had the chance, but... Is Elise waking up? What is going on here? He, th Those are two dominant kills from him. Let's see. He got the, I mean, pulled a fast one in the first one, but uh, on that second kill, that was him just taking a straight-up man fight with Zipnix and winning. And now spots the third. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Yeah, every chance to get that. But this is another round that Liquid should not be losing. Three versus five. Only 30 seconds more or less on the clock. I mean, I, they need them. They almost have to give them away back into this round here. Otherwise, they just, I think Astralis should run out of time. 13th round. They're stretched out. 19 seconds left. I don't know. I don't think they can even get onto a bomb side. So it's fine. All good. They're looking for kills, them? which that could still be very annoying, but they can't actually get the bomb plant. Yeah, because they really don't have much money left. So two seconds, one second, that's going to be it. Repeat half that we saw from Astralis versus EG, first match of this uh, tournament for them. But uh, let's see. It's going to be a full buy for both teams. Many nades and some speed here from Bubski. Yeah, trying to see if they can maybe catch them. It wasn't a direct rush. It was just time to go off five seconds later, but Liquid was still ready. That's important. 
Just the shoulder. Just to see what was going on. A very cool idea, though, from Astralis. I mean, I think it's worth trying something like that. Because if you're just playing in, in your normal rhythm in that bomb site and you throw down the, the, the Molotovs to slow them down and you realize, oh, they're not coming, it's fine. And then you start looking away and then the whole thing blows up. Yeah. But Liquid were well, well aware. Ready for it. Dupree going to be going down. Lucky on his own. One versus four. With a Molotov in hand. But they have so much on the other side. So very tough for him to get out of. But again, I must say he's been playing a very good game so far on Nuke. This is not an easy position to be in. It did get Siri. That's at least something. Up to 14 kills is lucky. And Liquid will find a fourth round. I gotta give Elise the defuse. Yeah. Just to help out, you know. Uh, not that many kills. They gotta get him, you know, gotta pad the stats in. Your ship rolled with the team. Yeah. And I think this is really what they intended all along. I mean, you're not bringing Fallen on to just be a primary opper. You're, you're bringing Fallen on to call the shots. Just took a while to get there, but it looks like the team is finally starting to hit its stride. It looks really healthy, and like you said earlier, you could see Stewie is also having much more of an impact. So. Oh, yeah. It's night and day with Stu. This Everyone's is, I mean, playing he's, better. He's got 10 kills right now. This is great. Well, the 15th round, the last of the half, set up, and let's just see how they're going to play this one out. If Astralis want the mirror of the first map on Vertigo, then they need to win this round. It's still doable. Mm. So maybe they can get that, that perfect revenge. Liquid, though, they want whatever they could get here. Fifth round could easily make the difference. You just never know. Dupree sneaking around. No uh, orb outside of the minute. That's inside of the bomb site instead. Actually, a little bit of a team effort coming in. Fallen with a rifle right next to him. The flashes are everywhere, and Fallen is dead before he even got his vision back. And that's terrifying on that A bomb site. Sip, what an entry to take down Grim on top of everything else. And this is working out real well. Leash is the only one that they don't know where he is. And he's snuck in. He's actually able to win this round. This is an unbelievable position to be in. If they make a mistake right here, Astralis and just walk into it, but maybe now not so much. He needed Naf up on the high ground. Could he get the ninja though? No, he's gonna go straight for it. We'll get a quick double. And the bomb did not get planted. He's back here with all the grenades and everything else. Just has to take a deep breath. One versus four. 20 seconds. They have to come and he knows it. They're going to be trying to see if he can get it on the right. He goes for the top oh, map. Yeah. Uh, it'd, be, uh, it'd be a good match. It'd be a good match to have a three map on this one. So let's see if Astralis can keep their cool and lock it down here on the CT side. On the defense. Sip is going for the duelies again. He was successful uh, against EG with them. Let's see if we can get some uh, value again. He's changed. He's he's not in the same position. Last time he was at ramp with him. So let's see. You know, this time around he's changed it up. Lucky with a nade in hand. Gonna be hitting them. That's a pretty decent grenade. Slows them down just a bit, and they're gonna be able to catch him. Magus goes down though. Elijah outside with a P250 instant shot. Oh, Dupree. No more coming after, but he realizes how many people are down there. He's hearing the footsteps. He's coming out to try and help. He will be pushed back just a bit. Sip showing up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> showing up for his own funeral. Got rocked. Lucky out here. Nice find. Yeah, doesn't have to commit to this fight either. Just show yourself. Try and be a little bit annoying. Three on three. And obviously plenty of time left. Nafa's going to take over those duelies. He's happy to find those. I think everyone's confused. Maybe especially Astralis. Where exactly are they going with this push? It's been everywhere so far. Lucky is again... The subject of attention down here in the control room. The bomb is going to be planted as Bobski goes down. The Duelies is going to be doing a little bit of work here. And now it's on Dupree. Only 20 health. One versus three. And that is that's a hard one to solve if you're in a pistol round. Not a whole lot you can really hope to do here. He's looking like he's going to back off and just save. Yeah. Uh, oh, what a chaotic round, though. Yeah. That starts with a ramp push. That then goes up to heaven, that, that goes to yard, that goes back towards... Like, it was just all over the place. Yeah, and you can... I mean, that's that's part of the strength of it, isn't it? It's very hard to call on the CT side. Every call is going to be immediately cancelled and, and contradicted three seconds later. Like, no, 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 wait a minute. Double Scout Deagle and some HEs. Let's see what they have. Damage onto Elige. Trying still is lucky out here, but almost connects. And Elige will eventually go down. Found by Bubski. So, already a kill going the way of Astralis. 
Well, that's correct, actually, Anders. Not only was it against uh, EG, but it was against Vitality that Astralis had 11-4 at the oh. end of the first half. And that was when the comeback happened for Vitality. So if it happens back-to-back -back for Astralis, if they, get, if they get run back on in the second half twice in a row on Nuke, they may never want to play the map again. Yeah, that would be really hard to deal with. So yes, it is in fact possible to run it back against Astralis on Nuke. Some smokes going up. The bomb making its way outside. Actually downstairs now. They changed it up. Can they do anything with it though? 50 seconds. Sip. I don't know if he's realizing that they could be behind him. Dupree's also on a bit of a flanking mission. It's once again, like in the pistol round, a really chaotic round where it's just a flip of a coin who actually gets to find who. Dupree could be seconds away from shooting in the back. Sip running back in. He knows scope headshots. <laughs> Grim, unbelievable. And now it's a three on four. 30 seconds left. Dupree, he's been spotted. He picks up the UMP. Bubsky's there to try and take it over. Naf, does he realize? Yes, he does. Heads up play for Naf. He realized that wasn't the same player and they're going to be able to win. Chance to breathe here, Liquid. It's a hard eco coming up here from Astralis. USPs, P2K, just let it be. Although, did Bubsky go for a P250? Yes, he does have a P250. Someone has to. Why, why are you spending the money? Why are you spending the money? In the back of your mind, just thinking, I remember that one time when I got a triple kill with it. And that's that's just what I'm going to focus on. At least a P250, you get one kill, and you, you know, you're all right, you made it back. Yeah. But, uh, but still. I mean, he had a little bit of extra. It's fine. 11 to 6. Liquid starting off the second half pretty well. Mac 10s are in first. Always like to see that. They're going to get that ramp room. Fallen making sure no one is going to be sneaking up behind either. And, yeah, now they're just being slow about it, which is fine. Making sure that they're not leaving too much to chance here. <laughs> Grim. All right. Good job checking those angles. Yeah. Well, okay. Then. Tell us how you really feel, Alish. Yeah, he's taking it a little bit personally now. Grim in for another Mac 10 kill. That's not bad. Three in the round for him. Dice and, and guess that they, maybe they won't. Oh. Well, it's all about there. No wall of smokes early on either. Nah. Making some noise. Yeah. Like it. A lot of it. Mind games. Grim is actually really close to this ramp. I mean, really close. Is he going to be able to do anything with it? Is he waiting for a flashbang? If Elish sets it up for him, that could actually be really interesting. Yeah, this is going to be quick. Sip is alone, and he's so blind. What a great little read there. He just was at the edge of the smoke, and maybe partly caused the Mac 10. He's not even afraid to go for it. That was really well done. And they get passed up. Now, Bobski shows up right in the nick of time. So, that brings it back to a one or at least a four-on-four four situation. Bomb planted, though. So now Liquid, are, it's a true four-on-four four for them. And they've got decent post-plant positions here. That was Bobski's sixth kill in the map, so they really need him to do a little bit more as well. Up on top of the silo, almost catching it, Elish. Going to get found so far. The prediction there, heavily favoring Liquid, and I can't really uh, blame it either. They're going to be backing on out, and yeah, as the time goes on, it just it updates. This is um this is a great start for Liquid. Eight to eleven now. Yeah, Astralis get to save the guns. I guess that is a, a bit of a silver lining, but that's just one kill and ramp. That's and they amazing. Can't the round. They just take zip mix out and all. They need somebody to show up. No, I mean that's actually what's crazy about it is that uh, without that one guy, they've still managed to get this far. It still feels like anybody's game though. He's going to run through, but he's going to get found by Bubsky. Absolutely important kill. That means they can focus on the... Well, it doesn't even matter. Never Rim mind. comes out with two big kills. They could have focused on the hut, but they were just a second late. And actually, Liquid had already made it onto the floor of the bomb site. Stewie is out hunting in spite of the fact that they probably already won the round, but he is hungry. Slay some more Danes. He's going to be taking down Lucky, and that leaves Sip on his own. They know where he is. He can't really escape. They don't have a Molotov or anything, but they can justify going after him. They have a lot of money in the bank. They should probably just hunt him down. Yeah, they should get rid of him. Don't let him hold on to this M4. You can afford to give up a couple of rifles in the hunt here. And just maximize the pressure on Astralis going into this next round. But what an explosive round straight out from Hut. Bubsky had a strong start, but that was it. The extent of it. Rim and Nap. Rim just smacks. So you're not emotionally invested in the same way. 
It's gotta be a totally different experience. That's so cool. Just focus on how things are falling out. 21st round here. Magisk. Oh, actually, the, the follow-up there is just amazing. Molotov to burn Fallen. There's an HE as well that landed on top of him. Elish gonna try and see if he can recover anything from this position. They don't want to let Astralis back into this game at all. And Magus, that's a nice little headshot to find. Taking down Stu, he wants to escape, and he will. Around the corner, they let him go. That was what, I mean, power play. There we finally see that HE Molly combo work. And when it works, you see Fallen, not a chance. He just gets blown up. Yeah. But Magus, what a shot from him. He heard the footsteps as well. He knew that Elise was next to him. Ooh. And considering the state of the buy for this round for Astralis, if they can pull this off, it would be a magical win. Naf gonna have something to say about it, though. But, oh, he catches a <laughs> mid-air headshot, blows him out of the sky. And Naf and Elysia left two versus three. But the confidence on Liquid, I mean, they're not really set up well to win this round, but the fights that they're taking, it just looks so determined. They're really hunting them down across the map. It's gonna be 40 seconds on the clock, and we'll see if they can actually... Do some more damage here. Again, very hard to find your way in, even into a bomb site in this scenario. Most of our, almost everything has been covered here. If they go for Sip, oh, he's going to be falling back maybe at an inopportune time. Got an HE, 20 seconds. Not that, not too long from now. They will probably have to start running and that'll give up the game, yeah, because they need some time to maybe take a fight. He's out in the open though, but it doesn't matter. Get through to the main event, so... You really need to win this match right now if you're Astralis, because if you go into the showdown, it's going to be so difficult. Yeah, it's a brutal hell down in, in, in the showdown. There's no doubt about it. Rip don't, and tear. Don't want to end up there. Boost up, I kind of like that. Again, if you just use it rarely enough, very hard for you to catch. And Lucky's going to be in there still with a scout in hand, interestingly enough. Couldn't afford anything else. Bottom on the top's down towards secret. Nades and all, trying to see if they can sneak down. And behind the Molotov come the flashbangs to clear everything. So not exactly a silent uh, a silent take of secret. Kind of a lot of uh, effort put into it, which Astralis may or may not have noticed. Magus is down here. Just in case. A bit more of a slow approach from Liquid to the hunt them down and kill them approach they've been having so far. Yeah, and total they get the pace. Oh no. Jumped. Slight mistake, but makes them second guess it just a bit. Bomb is on the other side by ramp, so this looks like it's going to be a cruncher. Though they, yeah, they can turn it around. They can go back and come up the vent and turn it into an A crunch instead. And Elise, what a read! Magis, he wanted to go looking. That is so smart. Well done. 25 seconds. Now they're going to go back down again. They changed their mind for a third time. And Astralis, they can't read it. They've got no one down here. This round is probably one that Astralis need to just give up. They don't have the money to go for it. Shocking. That is a really cool read. And a really cool, great call. I mean, both ways. They could have come up and made that work, but they realize Magus goes down. All right, we'll bring the bomb down instead. That was so sick. I just one detail after another. The molly to mitigate and to just force Magus back so he has no info. So you may be forced to think like, oh, I need to I need to go and push to get info. Where did they go? What happened? Elise is just ready for him. And then to go back down. Because you could have you could have definitely had the upper crunch there from Vents, but then for them to just be like, right, just go take the lower site. This is it. Yeah. It's so sick. What a play from Liquid. And it looked like Liquid, they were just in lockstep. Everyone knew exactly how to play that. Molotov's kind of failing a little bit there. The grenade's not hitting anyone. Not the end of the world, but um, we're at 10 to 12. This is so close now. You can't predict it any longer. Anything could happen from here on out. It feels like there's fire superiority for Liquid and nade superiority as well. So, yeah, Astralis are going to be hard pressed. You see Lucky's just zipping around out here because he doesn't have an op. He has a scoot. Lightning fast. And uh, that could come back to haunt them here. But we'll get a delayed, just one smoke. Here's the smoke wall getting set up. This has not been the default approach from Liquid either. So now Astralis have to suss this out. Yeah, they set up the wall and decide to turn it around. Magisk is thinking about checking it out. 
would be good if he could get eyes on that yard before they do this, but nope, it's going to be too late. They're already going for a Dupree. Can't see anything. He's lucky to be alive still. Bobski's going to be going down Dupree just with a single kill and up from the high ground. Nice headshot from Lucky with the scout to bring down Naf. That makes it a three on three. Doesn't make it easy to go for a retake and maybe they won't, but at least they have half a shot at it. They're going to be back there already moving so far away. What do you think? I mean, at some point you have to kind of make the play. At some point, you're going to have to take a risk. I mean, maybe they're oh. thinking that they don't have it enough just yet. Down on the low ground, but that flashbang just wasn't high enough for Stewie to get caught. So he's going to be fine. Getting a headshot on Lucky. They wanted to try and see if they could get it done. And I think you're right. Eventually, you can't just keep saving and saving and saving. Also, um, they have some money in the bank still. And with the, uh, with the round loss bonus, they're probably going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, Naf calling a nice shot to Lucky. That's, I mean, you know, deserved. It I was. was. I kind of uh, felt that one because, of course, 10 seconds up, Lucky looking definitely uh, like he's dialed in. Yeah, he's playing so well. He's got the ult now as well. So not the scout anymore. That's that's helpful. But again, look at their nade situation on Astralis' side. Like, it's just CTs without nades on Nuke. It's, it's a nightmare. It's nicely done, though. Through the edge of the wall explodes Grim. He's very low on health himself, but yeah, that is still pretty good. I would be great if they could boost him up. Now, yeah, they're going to do that, surely. No, he's going to go down instead. I was going to say, I just want him to be in a position where he's n not in the same danger as his you down on the floor of the bomb site. Not that cool with an AWP and just 19 health. But he's going to go all the way outside. That actually could be incredible. I think he's got to be careful for Elige, obviously. But if he just sticks around, oh, he's going to walk right into it. He should be dead in a second here. Smoke with the timing. I, he's so lucky to be alive. <laughs> Finest of margins. Finest of margins Truly. between these two. All right. So Elise is going to come jumping through main. The rest of them are going to explode out and try and see if they can get this done. It looks like that's what they're playing right now. And Elise, yeah, he's looking for anyone to do anything right now. There's the kill on Lucky. That might just set it up. Is he going to actually go for it? 30 seconds on the clock. Sip will be falling back now. They put a little bit of pressure on the ramp. Also puts him a little bit further away from rotating into help out the bomb site. Here we go. Molotov, Zanol, Dupree. He knows what is coming, but he's just being toyed with. The longer he waits, the more people come onto the bomb site. Fallen from the high ground. He's going to be going down, and now it's all on that. 15 seconds and a one versus three. He's going to hit the one kill, but make his... Oh, but let's see here early angle for fall and deep angle as well this is cool not something we've seen yet so much Lucky. holding a slightly different angle fallen he's going to be going down that smoke he does not have a shot at it very good stuff oh is this it is this the turning point it could be the money is still kind of good with liquid though even if they lose this round it's they're going to be quite done yet and we're getting, the, okay, identical setup now. Three upper, just ready and waiting for Liquid to try and explode out onto the bomb site again. Lucky is very patiently holding at ramp, and so he'll have control of that. And Maggie's only just now starting to worry a little bit about outside, but uh, yeah. Well, Elise is probably the player to make a difference in this round. He snuck down below. If he can get any kills, it's going to put pressure on Lucky. Stewie goes down before that happens. He's going to be falling back just a bit. At least he's slowly making his way in. Yeah, oh no, he doesn't even get that kill right away. And Sip is there. They needed Elise to, to backstab that ramp or anything else like that. Nice bomb. Little bit of the emotion showing on the side of Liquid as well. They know that they have this within their grasp, that they could run this back. Yeah. Now Astralis are firmly back in this game. If they lose this round, Liquid, they're out of money as well. Just to point that out, a bomb plant right now would be a big deal. Every little bit matters. They really need the cash. Oh, shots through. Magus nearly getting it, nearly getting the follow-up. Now they're going to try and put the pressure on speed inside of the bomb site. Bobski's going to get killed. Magus as well. And they are crushing this approach right here. Sip shows up with a kill on Naf, and it's just fallen left. One versus three. They tried to do it again, and this time, Astralis managed to shut it down. Fallen. That looked like an odd headshot. Wait, he knows. He has info now. He knows that there's a guy upper and a guy on the side. That had to... From getting us on the dust two and continuing this best of three, perhaps one of the more important ones we've had in the group so far, because no one wants to play in the showdown, and everyone wants to play in the arena. Indeed. Especially here in front of the fans. In Copenhagen. 
It's gonna be sick, Anders. Well, we gotta get there first. And uh, right now, it's all. Maybe they've done it. Maybe we will not have the repeat. The repeat run back. I mean, the fact that, again, they didn't get the bomb plant down. Deagles, Galils, P250. Mm -hmm. Some grenades. That's positive. It looks like they're repeating much of the same stuff here. Really, the soul lurker he's got down. It's pretty impressive that he could do this with just a deagle. But if he finds success down there, it's huge. They're putting on a lot of pressure up on the A-bomb side, actually going straight for it with a bomb down as well. So I don't know about that. Elise gets a headshot on Bubsky, who's obviously trying to rotate out, but not the kill on Naf though. And somehow it's a two-on-two. I can't believe that they even get into this position. They lost two people getting into the A-bomb site, and still somehow they're able to secure this position, at least for now. Grenade, not going to be taking down Naf. And now there's a bomb plant. They missed the window to get the punish when the bomb is planted where it's a 2v1 for the CT side. Molotov, is that going to block anyone off from coming out of the hut? That's a bit awkward for intentionally at least. Naf, low on health. He's going to get shot in the back by Sip and now it's on the liege. One versus two to try and hold on to the map. He gets the one kill, spins around. Sees it coming. Sip though, he's waiting for it on the other side and he's going to win that fight every single time. 16 to 11. It's Astralis bringing us on to the third map on Dust.